Good morning and welcome to Contemplative Prayer. We are entering the season of Advent and this has been quite a journey, hasn't it? Our contemplative hour started back for, um, for Lenten season. When we began, we thought that we'd be gathering in person, you know, a group of six to ten people reading the word and chant have a time of quiet together, contemplation and prayer, building each other up in this holy space each and every week. Then as we all know, things changed and we were no longer able to gather after second week. It seems like a very, very long time ago and we do have a lot of uh, feelings attached to these last eight or so months. But now we are in a very joyous time once again. Advent is upon us. And today I thought that I would reflect with the many disguises of Emmanuel by Joyce Rupp. We're going to change the chant a little bit too. Something that reflects Advent season. So if you want to just Take a few seconds to breathe nice and deep, letting go of any tension that you're holding within your face, your jaw, breathing in deeply and loosening up your shoulders, taking in a nice deep breath again. Offer this time to yourself as a gift from God for you to connect one on one with him. And your connection to God is breath. With a big smile on your face on this next inhale. And loosening up your shoulders or hands or wherever else you're having a bit of tension and release them all. And as you are ready to now enter a place of contemplation and prayer for the next 15 minutes or so. As we read together a psalm, and today is Psalm 146, followed by a chant, I will then hit the bell. And we'll have a few minutes of silence five minutes of silence and I will once again strike the bell to notify that we are now out of our silent time and I will then share with you that lovely offering of poetry by Joyce Rupp. Psalm 146. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God my life long. Do not put your trust in princes, in mortals, in whom there is no help. When their breath departs, they return to the earth. On that very day, their plans perish. Happy are those whose help is in the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord their God, who made heaven and earth and sea and all that is in them, who keeps faith forever who executes justice for the oppressed, who gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets the prisoners free. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the strangers. He upholds the orphan and the widow. 
But the way of the wicked he brings to ruin. The Lord will reign forever. Your God, O Zion, for all generations. Praise the Lord. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to you, O Israel. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to you, O Israel. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to you, O
rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to you, O Israel. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to you, O Israel. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to you, O Emmanuel, God with us. Long awaited, eagerly anticipated, delicious dreams of royal robes. A Messiah, enthroned with elegance. False notions and easily accepted illusions. A few open ones, full of surprise. Heard the fresh, full cry of life, echoed in the inhabited heaven the only place ready for a birth that was ripe. Shepherds, sages, and scribes drawn by angels and stars discovered this divine simplicity, then hurried from the hillside with news that amazed them all. But many years later cry goes unheard, stifled in the roar of unyielding opinions, submerged in the noise of hasty judgments, masked in the false folds of cultural glitter. The surprising one continues to come, entering the world in endless disguise, concealed in those we have never forgotten, secreted in the hearts of people we despise, found in the rejected and the unacceptable, hidden in the ones we ignore and criticize. Shall we pray? God of love, you were so generous, sending the presence of your beloved to dwell among us and to tell us who you are. Encourage me during this Advent season to continue in the sharing of loving presence through my attentiveness given in prayer and in deeds, you who dwell within me, remind me often not to let go of my busyness and my hurriedness so that I can be with others, but to do so in a loving way. Convince me that being is as important as doing. Thank you for your strengthening presence. Thank you for being with me. Amen. <laughs>